Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice balmy 48 degrees out this morning. Oh, I love this weather. We gotta go find their dish. How'd you girls get it way out here, huh? I think it's your feeding time too. There they all come. You're making a mess there, Lynx. You trying to share with the chickens? I need to lock up the, those free range chickens, but it's just fun watching them with the pigs. That's why I haven't yet. Where are you, Moose? What are we gonna do about you, huh, mister? <coughs> Went over and gave a friend some help on their house yesterday, so I never collected the eggs, oh man. So these are yesterday's eggs. A dozen and a half. Plus another six or eight from the free rangers. So two dozen eggs, more than enough for us. All right, Moose, you protect your ladies today. Some of the new carrots are coming up. I didn't know if they were. What's that? <laughs> Some beets are looking good. Got a big old zucchini right there. That'd probably be good for like zucchini relish or grind it up for zucchini bread. But I wouldn't want to eat it, just eat it. The pepper plants are doing awesome, but we're not getting any flowers. So we're not gonna have any peppers this year. No, but the plants are doing good. We have a zucchini over here. Uh, nope, it's not huge, it's good size. There's two. Is there two? Oh yeah. It's like twins. Oh. 
It's a good little harvest of string beans. Two zucchinis right there at least. Small zucchinis? No. Well, they're smaller than that big one. Oh yeah, I see one. Two, right beside each other. Cool. And there might be one on the other side. Are we going to get anything that's color for the tomatoes off? Yes. And then oh, they're a nice dark green. And they've got funky stripes on them. Oh, that's perfect. And a different, different variety. It's going to be heavy. Okay. Al took a good basket for goat stuff. Well, yeah, we're going to have our priorities. <laughs> That one's fat in the middle. I'm gonna say that has something to do with all the rain we've gotten. One, two, oh, holy. Three, four, five. It's like a five pound zucchini. That's gonna make a lot of zucchini bread. It is. We got one more. This would be a good one for cooking and eating. Yeah. And then I want to take that big spaghetti squash down. Which one? This one? The big one. Yeah, I think that's a good size. I think. I don't know. Try it. Yeah, hey, tell me how much you think that weighs. I have more. Pretty heavy though. It's heavy. Maybe we shouldn't have cut it. Huh. We got more. So we want to cut all of our tomatoes and bring them in that are starting to ripen. With all the rain we've been getting lately, they're getting pretty mushy fast. We don't want to lose them. They're pretty. It's a nice one. Sun's out. Sun's coming. Them tomatoes are growing nice and wild. Big one, that is a big one. You look like you're in a jungle. Tomato and cucumber jungle. Did you get it? That's a lot of tomatoes. There's a lot more still on the vine. I think Figaro's having fun checking out the outdoor kitchen for the first time. Better not lock you in here, mister. You won't like it.
Got a pretty nice harvest this morning. Yeah. I'm happy with that. So we're going to do some more dilly beans with all these string beans. The last ones we did were too spicy for us. So what did you put? Red pepper flakes in there? Chili pepper flakes. Well, I'm not going to put any in. We're not going to do any. Because we don't like them. So once we get the recipe worked out, we'll share it with you guys on the channel. I just don't like sharing stuff if we don't like it yet, right? Okay. Hey, that's for the pigs. I think Figaro wants me to put a cat door into the outdoor kitchen for him. Ha! Huh. You're gonna have to get out. Links. Our pigs are getting spoiled with all this good food, but that just means we'll be getting spoiled later on, if you know what I mean. We get comments all the time like, I can't believe you're feeding your pigs eggs, or you're feeding them this food, that food, that's some good food, you could eat it. Just remember, you are what you eat and you are what you eat eats. So what they eat, we get it in return. So it's a win-win all the way around. We don't have to worry about anything going to waste and we get to eat good later on. We had such a beautiful sunrise this morning. I had to share it with y'all. I thought it was pretty neat how the fog was trapped on the river and you couldn't see any of the river bank. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys right back here in the next video. And if you're not already subscribed, now's a great opportunity to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.